Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video C Sharp developers In this video we are exploring how to use webhooks in C Sharp in 2024 Whether you are developing applications or working on server side projects Leveraging webhooks in C Sharp can add a whole new layer of functionality Following along with this video We are going to harness the power of C Sharp with webhooks So guys let's get started so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, to start with this video, we have to know more about webhook. So and what does it do exactly? So webhook is basically, or webhooks are one way that apps can send automated messages or information to other apps. It's how PayPal tells your accounting app when your client pays you, how to all you routes, phone calls to your number, and how WooCommerce can notify you about new orders in Slack. They are a simple way your online accounts can speak to each other and get notified automatically when something new happens. In many cases, you will need to know how to use webhooks if you want to automatically push data from one app to another. So basically this is exactly what webhooks does we've made in our channel several videos about connecting for example uh, outlook with another app uh, like connecting stuff with another app and we were not really using webhooks directly we were just using like the app marketplace of that specific app and connecting it directly just by clicking on buttons but there was a whole background work to deal with uh, in like the back end of the website or the service which was including the webhooks so in this video guys we are going to learn uh, how we can get to implement webhook using C sharp so here as you can see we will need in this video a couple of things so we will need C sharp webhook receiver so we need a C sharp webhook receiver intended for capturing events from github or other services can be portrayed as an http post api endpoint within C sharp controller so establish a C sharp controller action so begin by generating a C sharp API controller named GitHub Webhook Controller. This controller serves as a handler for all events taking place within GitHub repository. So this is the code as you can see right in front of you. Rob's API controller, API controller, public class Git web, GitHub Webhook Controller, controller base, HTTP, HTTP post, route pushed, and public AI, uh, I action results, burst dynamic play, payload, do something with payloads and return OK. So this is basically the setup that we have made. Then go to the setup at post endpoint. So you have to create an HTTP post endpoint named post for handling the post events on GitHub. This endpoint is in, uh, essentially acts as a callback event. Since the exact structure for of the GitHub payload is currently unknown, this object or JSON GitHub sends during a particular event, it's stated that the method receives a parameter of the dynamic type. Launch the application as you can see. Upon initiating the API project, the endpoint can be examined via Swagger to ensure their correct configuration. As you can see right in front of you. Then here we got setting up a GitHub webhook instance. To receive events for a specific GitHub repository, you must create a webhook instance, access the repository settings and select the webhooks link from the sidebar. Click on add webhook where you will encounter a form for configuration. So as you can see here, this is how it looks. So here you should put your payload URL, the content type, it should be application and choose it from here and secret and for the which event would you like to trigger with uh, this webhook, choose just the push event. We didn't have made anything but the push event in this uh, video. So then click on active and then click on add webhook. So that the most vital field to complete is the payload URL. This signifies, signifies the endpoint of your application that GitHub contacts when a push event transpires in the chosen repository. So other configuration details include 
content type shows applications like JSON, secrets, generator secret online generators are available so you can the secret service to verify that GitHub is an actual sender of the payload guarding against malicious and Personation, it's crucial to not leave this field blank in a production environment. In case you were just sent it, this test by yourself or just gonna send it to a few friends, then you can, of course, leave it empty. But in case you were working as a team, it's gonna be a production environment, then you should, of course, make some kind of protection for your code. Then, testing and debugging with. Ngrok. So since GitHub can't access your local host directly, an application needs to be deployed, like on Azure. However, for testing and debugging, you can utilize Ngrok. So Ngrok is a tool that establishes a secure tunnel between a local server and the public internet, permitting developers to expose a local web server to the internet. So here, this is how you can set up your Ngrok server. So simply just download Ngrok from the official website, then install and run Ngrok. Execute the command Ngrok HTTP port, replace port with your application port, disable HTTPS in your application by using HTTP URLs, and after executing the command, a live URL will be generated. Visiting this URL will provide the same outcome as localhost and debugging is enabled. So after that, you come here to connect in the ngrok URL with payload. payload. You also, you just have to go through these three steps. So here we go, set the application, set up a breakpoint in the push method, make the changes in the uh, repository. So this is how it look. Um, here we can see the image, choose the committee directly to the main branch, uh, random update, readme update, and here just type your text and commit changes. Here, wait for a few seconds, the debugger should trigger and observe the payload parameters filled with data and basically this is how you can run and use webhook with c sharp um it could be a little bit complicated for new developers it could be uh, a whole new topic for people who doesn't know about webhook but it is a very very interesting thing to know uh, webhook is a very essential tool it's gonna boost you a lot in your coding um, like journey um you can now use in this method uh, like make several applications and connect them together if you were like wondering how we can make several different applications like so different different code different servers and connect them together well there you go now we have webhook that's gonna help you to manage to do that so this is the answer for your question on how we can use webhook in C Sharp. So thank you guys a lot for watching. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave it down below in the comment section. So thank you guys and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.